morning everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ashley Morgan welcome since I moved to Texas I've been introduced to a lot of Tex-Mex as well as Mexican dishes and some things are good because we're in Austin and if we want to be real the food here is not that great let me tell you how good God is y'all I'm in Austin Austin I found Bigfoot but no it gets better bruh they got the spicy one too it's I love Bigfoot. Usually the only way I'm able to get Bigfoot is when my family goes back to Jamaica and then they bring it back when they go on a trip, which is like once or twice a year. So I, you know, and they bring a whole bunch, but because Bigfoot is so good, that bag of like 12 or 24 will last my cousins and I like two days <laughs> and it's gone. And so, and I found that today, I, I was so excited. So I'm really happy about that. Today we're gonna make esquites. It is a Mexican corn salad. One of my go-to things since I've been here. First time I've ever had this, it was introduced to me as a dip. But then one day when I made it at home, I had some cucumbers and tomatoes on hand and I mixed them together, turned it into a salad. I even made it into a pasta salad. And so you can kind of play around with the variation. I'm giving you the simplistic version of the salad that I like. It is really good as a dip on its own, but it's also delicious as a salad. And when I eat it as a salad, I typically pair it with salmon or red snapper. The first step is going to be to char our corn. Typically we'll take an ear corn, cut the kernels off the cob, and cook it after that. There are certain recipes that are worth the extra hassle. This is not one of them. <laughs> Just go ahead and find you a really good can of corn. I love Trader Joe's corn because it's always fresh, crisp. It's naturally sweet. They don't add any sugar or preservatives, and so this is my favorite brand of corn. I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil. And we're gonna go ahead and... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so fat. Placing the corn into the pan, we're gonna spread it out into an even layer and let that char on one side. And once it chars on one side, then we're gonna go ahead and mix it again, another even layer, and let that do the same thing again. You just wanna get that color and that flavor that you would get if it were to be grilled. And while that's happening, <sighs> as you can see, the corn now has some color to it. Now that the corn has charred, I turn my stove off and I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side and allow it to cool down while we go ahead and mix the remainder of our ingredients. This is a dressing, just like any other dressing. It's not something you can really mess up. It is kind of based on your taste and flavor profile. I am not a huge fan of sour cream and or crema and so that's why I am not using it in this recipe but if you like the flavor of crema and or sour cream in your salad dressings I would say go ahead and go for it. Also if you have QP mayonnaise by far a better option than any other kind of mayonnaise in this but I did not want to buy QP mayonnaise just for this recipe. Two to three tablespoons of mayonnaise. I'm also going to add about the same amount of Greek yogurt. One small lime juiced. I'm going to add my cotija cheese. This recipe can also be made vegan. You can substitute almost everything in here for a vegan alternative. So if you can find it, I would definitely say go for it. I'm then going to add some black pepper, some salt, some chili powder in here. And then we're going to mix this together again. garlic powder and onion powder. Once I have my base together and I like the way my dressing tastes, I'm going to go ahead and add the remainder of my ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and add our corn first. And add my cucumbers, green onion and cilantro, bell pepper, jalapenos and crushed garlic. And we're just going to go ahead and mix this together. This is what we're looking like right now. I really like the way this looks and I also love the way that it tastes. I'm going to let it sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes to allow it to come together and cool down a little bit more because I like it to be cold. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make some salmon. minutes the salad is fully chilled and we're going to go ahead and assemble our lunch I'm excited so before I add my salmon I'm just going to go ahead and add I am NOT the best at plate presentation that's one thing I did not 
get the, the grip of in culinary school. The presentation might not be on point, but I promise you the flavors will be. We're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more Contigo cheese, a little bit of chili powder for some color, and then my salmon, it's so pretty. Okay, so here we are, the finished product. I'm super excited about this, and I'm super excited for you to try this. It is delicious. 